Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the Bamboo Creek, and I've noticed that that screen at the bottom, uh, what? No, that fall at the bottom of the screen, rather. Oh, okay, I was... Damn! Damn! Look, look, look here. I was exactly too high to see the gradient. Yeah, okay, that's a death. I assume there's a reason for that. Is that closed off? Yes, it is, but this one is different. Interesting. real, real quick. That's where the badassery feeling comes from in this game. Chaining stuff together, I think. Oh! Oh, that reminds me. I was advised to try a trick. Fuck. Wow, that does make that easy! <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I can just... Go stand right here. Where are they coming from, then? I need one of those green dudes. Hey! I wonder if that means there's a dude near here, one of those phobioids. Or a phobicans. Phobioids are something else, actually. Okay. Well, I'm not getting up there this way. But there's nothing there. I wonder if I should have been in uh, old timey graphics for this. Much less sparkling going on here. Ah, I did add that. Neat. Hey, buddy. You know, I was thinking about the last session where I learned all that crazy shit about the messenger cycle. And, uh... 
with the help of a friend, uh, put a bunch of pieces together. So, after I delivered the scroll to the next messenger, I became the shopkeeper. Which suggests that he was the messenger before me. Which suggests that he was the western hero from the very beginning of the game. And since that guy drove off the Demon King with a barrage of arrows, I feel like it's safe to conclude that the shopkeeper, the bowman, and the western hero are all the same person. Aren't I clever? Let's see. So, more key charges, or... Well, that's not great, but I, that does look uh, helpful. You know, get that to get this. But for the time being, let's go with Centered Mind. Key charges plus one. Shuriken pierce two targets. Going into the adventure with purpose and focus gives you more energy to use in combat. Hell yeah. Please don't touch the jukebox. Wonder if the cauldron fuck, is going to be important eventually. Just kidding, I want this too. Oh shit! I didn't see where that was going. I was just watching myself delicately drift down from the sky, and it was all nice. Until it wasn't. And I still come out of that room better than I went in. I'm going to assume that the uh, waterfall there is in the background and not touching the wall, because if uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild ever taught me anything, it's that you cannot climb wet rock. <laughs> huh. Nothing here to attack, not on that scale. I don't know. I feel like I can go up from here. That's a door! Why is there a door there? Ha! I outrun the fireballs! What? Oh. Where am the switch that opens the door at the bottom? Shit. Nothing fancy down here. Although there is an entry down here, so I guess I'll just try that. I am not surprised to see that this room is green. Oh! Oh no. 
Well, I didn't think that through, did I? No! Oh. Thank you, Quarable. Exactly what I intended, but I'll allow it. Delicious. Hey, thanks. That's what that's for. Mm. It's like eating a full meal when you were really hungry. So satisfying. I should have predicted the whole uh, time travel theme when the money was called Time Shards, huh? As I recall, instead I came up with that silly idea that it was going to be, uh... Oh, oh we're just gonna reach into the future and pull out your own memories of knowing how to do the thing. wanted to bounce off that guy and get up through this platform, but whatever. Oh, thank god. It, right, I forgot about that. The uh, upgrade I just gave it. But it trades two targets, not just the one. You assholes will finally be stop being able to stalemate me! Uh, okay. I can give that a shot. Leg. Squished? No! <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Back into action. Oh, that is five health. <laughs> nice. my momentum if that was going to work. Do 
There's another way into that room from the top? Sorry about that, I desperately needed to sneeze. No, I know how to get there from down, so let's go down and go there. Ow. Oh, god damn it. No. Yeah, I need to go under it somehow. Fuck! I don't like how far this one is from that. I really, really don't. Oh, I didn't line it up properly. That would have been great. I regret not killing that guy already. Oh, this room sucks! Oh, I see. Uh, I can't get, actually get in there because there's a door sealing off the top part. Good. I'm not being an idiot for no reason. Just little reason. Oh, I really want that one. It's clever. Oh, no! For a second there, I thought I was in the wrong room. Weird. No! Uh I can't believe I hit the fireball. Oh well, that was kind of a long shot. Anyway... Oh, that would've been great! Did I? Shit! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Mm. Man, I'm not even. What am I doing here? If the sun shines bright and the mood is light, a little creature is paralyzed by fear. I don't know what that means. It's gotta be a phobic end, but. Maybe, maybe this is the claustrophobia one. I was unclear about that one. I thought maybe the catacombs, because, uh... You know, tight spaces, but then I remembered that's where I found the guy with the fear of death! I have to admit that part. That was between videos. I thought, no, hang on! God damn it. Fuck. Oh my god. It'd probably be easier if I just didn't do that. <laughs> Getting myself squished. Hang on, what did he just say? <laughs> Sorry about the pain, but I can't pay myself back if death isn't confirmed. You're a weird little dude, Quarble, you know that? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Messenger. Ow. When we, uh, 
press on through the Bamboo Creek. And, uh... Put an end... to... evil everywhere? I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> they can't all be gems. Later!